guys welcome back to another video today we are going to talk about eight things i love about my 2018 f-150 so this stuff more pertains to my truck um not just them all in general because there are mine's got more options on it and some things are options that other trucks won't have so first of all this is something that all f-150s of this year will have and that is the aluminum body the aluminum paneling i actually really love the aluminum um i know some people think oh safety blah 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 <laughs> these trucks are really safe they have a really good safety rating actually i don't even know what it is 100 percent, but i know the safety rating is really good biggest reason i love the aluminum is it won't rust as you can see it is winter and i do drive my truck in the salt with the aluminum it won't rust you know you get like especially with wide wheels you get rock chips well those rock chips won't rust because i actually do have a few that have been filled i don't know if you can see that in the camera if it'll pick it up or not but i mean they were open open rock chips for quite a while so you know number two my truck has these mirror lights that are actually all covered in ice and they are extremely bright they're led and uh they shine really good and i use them for well i drive trucks i use them when i in the morning when i have to dot my truck and check oil and stuff i drive up next to my semi and turn the lights on and it shines in there and i can see extremely well it's like a basically like a giant flashlight and uh, i'll insert a little clip here absolutely love these mirror lights it's like a sixty thousand dollar flashlight lights up the whole side of the truck easy to check oil on all the semis in the morning and then yeah so that's that's what i use it for and i use it almost every day i love it absolutely love it number three this one actually pertains to the back of the truck the tailgate um so mine has the electronic tailgate so by pushing this button twice right here my tailgate actually drops which it's a little stiff right now because of the snow so I absolutely love that. It actually works really nice when you're carrying something, you can just reach in your pocket quick and grab it. And then the other thing with having an electronic tailgate, now when I lock my truck, it locks my tailgate. Well, actually I got the key in my pocket so it unlocks it. But um, by having that electronic tailgate like that, when I lock my truck, it automatically locks my tailgate. So when you have a tonneau cover, mainly a more so a hard one, but even with the closed one, you got your box is closed and your box is unlocked nobody can enter your into your box and uh, i absolutely love that you know it works out really well if you put anything you know valuable in the box and nobody can enter it when the truck's locked number four this also pertains to the tailgate actually <laughs> um i have another thing i have is the tailgate step and i actually use it i don't use it all that often but i use it once in a while um, I use it more for uh, when I had to get new tires for my semi. Um, they're heavy. They're, they're effing heavy. And I always pull the step out and I put them up on my knee and I push it up onto the step and then up into the box. It was just a lot easier than trying to throw them up into the box. And uh, it just made things 10 times easier. And uh, I got used to that. And then I, I don't know. I don't think I'd buy one without the step. You know, just for even in and out of the box all the time and it's just 
I don't know. To me, it makes it more simple to get in and out of the box to put stuff in the box like that are heavy, like tires, you know, like semi tires. They're easy to roll up onto the step and, and, uh, I don't know. It just made my life a lot easier. I love it. And, uh, I kind of, I, I bought this truck just because a lot of the options that it had and for the price I got, it was pretty, pretty decent. Um, the only thing I wish I had is the, uh, upgraded headlights, but I got the upgraded taillights and stuff. So I don't know. That's the only thing I got on this truck. I think that I, I wish I had that I didn't or that I don't have actually. All right. So number five would have to be the Ford Pass app. Um, I use this app actually quite religiously and uh, I use it every morning. So I usually lay in bed, I usually get up in the morning and I start my truck and it can start, you can start from any, pretty much anywhere in the world. And uh, I love that. Um, it's a lot easier than carrying the key around all the time. You can start it, let the truck warm up in the morning. Maybe I'll shut it off too, I think. Yeah. So, I use it a lot. I use it every morning. It's how I start my truck every morning and let it warm up. Uh, not so much in the summer, obviously, but in the winter, it's, that's what I use. Um, I do carry my key fob around for when I when uh, going in stores and stuff because it's just, it is a little laggy and sometimes it doesn't like to work. Um, but yeah, I suppose you can start it from pretty much anywhere in the world. That I don't know if it's actually true or not, but what I've been hearing and uh, I mean I've, I've started from a couple miles away and it works just fine all right so number six would actually probably be this keyless entry um, so anytime you have your key on you like this because I get the key pops so I don't actually have a key um, it's just a key fob the there's a keyless entry there's this like little button looking thing it's actually a sensor so anytime you push it with the key on you it automatically unlocks the truck but then you you can lock the truck like that. I love that because especially when you're grocery shopping and you're carrying a bunch of bags out. Because if you're like me and don't like to take the cart out, you just try to carry everything in one trip and you know throw it on the truck and I don't have to go put the fucking cart away. Yeah, so you just got all the shit in your hands and just walk up and unlock the truck and then you can just in the back and throw the stuff in the back. I love it. I use that a lot too. Um, you know, it's just little things like, I don't know. Little things like that, I don't know, just I use more than I ever thought I would. Number seven would be my 3.5 EcoBoost motor. Now, I love this engine. You know, the only thing I don't like about it, it, it doesn't have that really beefy sound. I mean, it does sound like a six cylinder. But it, it has the highest tow rating. You know, this thing has a ton of power, um, pretty much more than it would ever ever really need in a half ton, I mean, honestly. Um, I pulled some pretty heavy stuff with it, probably more than I should have. But it handles it really well for a six cylinder. And this thing blows, you know, a lot of V8s out of the water, especially, you know, having these giant uh, 22 by 12 you know on 33s I mean, if these tires are heavy i mean it did slow it down a lot because i mean it's a lot of weight there but you know it it it, it was i was impressed i i could still beat a lot of stock v8s with it for being a um eco boost with a little you know six cylinder these these engines have by far impressed me the fuel mileage isn't terrible i mean now that i put the aftermarket wheels and stuff on it made a pretty big difference but uh 
when it was all stock, I, I was getting probably around 20 to 22 miles a gallon with it all the time. Now I get about 13 and a half to 14 and a half roughly. On a good day, I'll get 15, 16, but I don't know. The tires, tires made a big difference. I mean, they look amazing, but well, to me they do. Most, a lot of people don't like the red, but personal opinion, I wanted to be different. That's why I went with the, the V6 instead of the 5.0. You know, I just wanted to be different. Like I said, the only thing I don't like, it's just, it doesn't sound manly. But yeah, you kind of sacrifice one thing for another. All right, and number eight, the last but not least, would be the 10 speed transmission. So in order to bring it out, I had to put this in drive. As you can see, there are 10 gears. Um, I love it because uh, it, it brings the gears a lot closer together. And uh, especially for towing, they it's just a lot smoother. Um, and even even for the lower gears, they're, they're not too far off of a six speed. But the higher you get into gears, the more, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, they're they're a little bit closer together. So you do get more power because you can, with the gearing, I mean, it's geared lower, it's not, have, it doesn't have such long gears that the truck's gotta work more in the lower RPM when it shifts because it kind of keeps it up in that same range. You know, same with fuel mileage, it kind of keeps in that lower RPM and it just keeps keep shifting in that lower RPM and it kind of hits that peak, like fuel mileage point and uh it does make a huge difference i mean it really does um compared to like trucks with the six speed in it you know the the, the power difference the fuel mileage difference i mean it, it's quite significant um for towing it's really really good i don't know i just i personally think the 10 speed was a really good idea for these trucks um i know they think they just started putting them in the diesels as well i know they were a little bit behind with the half tons i think they started in 2018 i think this is the first year they did it um definitely definitely love it and you know i think that's a good thing to the future um do i think they should go more than 10 no i think 10 is kind of the cap you know you don't want too many gears where the truck's just constantly shifting either so uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed um that was the eight things that i absolutely love about my f-150 um you know if you guys like it please comment likes and subscribe uh I'm trying to grow the channel um i have an instagram page i also have a facebook page um go check those out their links are in the description and uh yeah see you guys later all right so we got a little bonus footage because traffic's literally going to crawl on the highway i don't know what's going on so i'll show you guys when we get up that far because I don't know, there's an accident up there and I don't know what the hell's going on. Looks like there's two cars involved. Looks like there's a, I don't know what that is. It's like a Jeep or something? I don't know, I can't see it. It's kind of far away. And it's on its side, I can't really tell what it is. That's a fucking E350 van. Holy shit. So somehow the big E350 van rolled and flopped on the side. That's what that is. Holy shit. I don't know if he spun on caught the guardrail or what, but. And a little bonus footage. Hope you guys enjoyed.